So I'm Dr. Jeffrey Collins, and I will be teaching the art history anthropology uh, for Go Rome this summer. I've done 22 study abroad trips with students, uh, most of them in, in Europe, uh, although I've taken some students to uh, Central America for the Maya. When you see students for the first time see uh, art or sculpture or architecture they've always seen in books and really see them get excited about it and ask 10,000 questions, total joy. If you're going to be taking an Italian uh, Renaissance art class, you are in for an extraordinary experience. And here's why. Many times you know that when you take an art history major, or if you take a course in art history as an elective, you usually have a professor who's going to be talking to you and you're looking at images from Google. In this course, we're going to see all the major art, architecture, and sculpture directly. So we'll be standing in front of it, we'll be discussing it. So we'll be going to at least 10 museums and certainly a, a full weekend in Florence so that you can see everything from the David and Academia uh, to, uh, of course, the Uffizi Gallery where all the great Renaissance art is. You do not need any art history background for this. This is completely introductory. So I've had uh, hundreds of students throughout the years who have majors in engineering to business. So anyone is welcome. In anthropology, we're going to be doing uh, some interesting anthropological experiments and actual simulation projects in Rome. So we're going to look at human evolution and work all the way through to development of cultures. A perfect example of this is development of Rome as a city. Uh, and then we're going to look at uh, all the major cultural anthropological concepts dealing with race, marriage, things like that.